Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin, Global Account Manager at Lenovo, back again for another unboxing video. This time today I've got the Lenovo ThinkStation P330 Tiny. Brand new product for Lenovo, just came out. Uh, really excited to have a ThinkStation class machine in a tiny form factor. For, for those of you who have watched a lot of these videos, you know I've, uh, I've unboxed the uh, M910 Tiny, the uh, M9, M725 Tiny, which was the AMD. And the thing I really liked about it is that when you pair it with our uh, Tiny in One monitor, it becomes a really elegant solution to get all the compute off your desk and tucked up behind the monitor. So once again, I'm going to open this up. Uh, show how it works with the monitor and then uh, give you a little bit more details about our ThinkStation Clash uh, machines. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and then I'll talk a little bit about our different um, class machines. So we've got obviously Lenovo branded products uh, without the Think branding which is our consumer products that you'll find in, a, in the typical you know, fries, Best Buys, those kind of things of the world. Uh, but then in the think in the corporate space, all our products are labeled with the Think branding. So we've got our ThinkPad, of course, which is our uh, well-renowned uh, laptops. Then we've got the Think Center, which is our desktops. And then we've got um, ThinkStation, which is our workstation class machines. That's in the IDG or the uh, um, the PC side of the house. And then we've got a, uh, other, of course, Think branded products over on the server side of the house. Um, so. Uh, this is a ThinkStation, so it's a workstation class machine, uh, the P330, so it's the, the 30 uh, means it's third generation product uh, in the, this line. So let's go ahead and open this up, take a look, and you're going to see how small it is and uh, how powerful a workstation uh, can be in such a small form factor. So we have a box here, we have the actual workstation here, and then the keyboard here. So let's take a look what we have. First of all, opening up the ThinkStation. Okay, so that's it. That's the uh, tiny uh, class machine, a monster inside a very small package. So on the front here we've got uh, audio, uh, USB-C, and then a traditional uh, USB uh, 3.1 port. Um, and then on the back, again I'm just looking down here at my PS Ref. Uh, for the, I've talked about that in the past. A great way to get all the details on a product in one small spot. So then in the back we've got power, um, the uh, video, another USB, uh, HDMI video. Um, Three more USBs, Ethernet, and then um, this one has uh, a punch-out port here with options on the top. So what, what we can do on this one is, so we've got an optional punch-out. So in our corporate space, we uh, have the ability to custom configure these machines based on your environment. So let's say if you're using this as a, a cash register and you need serial ports, we can put those in. Sometimes it's called COM ports. Um, but here we've got, uh, we can do uh, US, extra USB ports, we can do uh, COM, uh, COM port, VGA, display port, or HDMI built into it. Uh, a standard on the back, you've got two USB 3.1s, uh, you've got USB, um, another two USBs, uh, type, type A, and then we've got RJ45, which is the Ethernet I just mentioned, and display port, and a uh, the HDMI. So those are the ports on this machine, but what gets really exciting is how you can add graphics to it also. So if you put an i7 processor in it, uh, this is what this thing can do. So let's say you configure this thing with a i7 uh, 35 watt processor, you can then add graphics on this which is a uh, either a Quadro P620 2 gig graphics card or a Quadro P1000 4 gig graphics card. So imagine the power of this, an i7 with a Quadro uh, P1000 graphics card in there. Awesome. So that's the, uh, how you can configure that. Then we'll go ahead and look at the rest of this. I know everybody likes to see everything that ships with the product. So coming also in this, this is going to be our standard keyboard. So we can open that up. And then, uh, in the 
box here, this is going to be our power and our mouse. So let's see. Yep, we've got our line cord and our power. Okay, this one. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up. I think one thing everybody likes to see is how this is going to fit into the back of the monitor. So you can see this is how the cords are going to go in. There's a, this is normally blocked when you get it new, so you can use this as a standard monitor. You don't have to use it as a tiny in one. Has this uh, has the ports in it, so you could just use display port right there and hook it up. But the beauty is when you combine it with a tiny, you can go ahead and just slide the tiny into the back of the monitor. It clips into place here with this clip, screw, and then uh, just uh, pop this down. And boom, look at elegant the uh, workstation class machine hidden behind this uh, monitor. So tiny in one monitor. Um, we will want to go ahead and hook up our mouse, uh, which could go right here in the USB. Oops, sorry about that. Let's try turning this on. I already had the monitor powered up, so I don't need this. Uh, it comes with it. And it should turn on, I think, if I did this right. There we go. Okay. So I think that's it. That's all I want to show you. I just the the real update today is that we're able to put a workstation class machine in this small of a package, putting it hiding it uh, back of a monitor is another optional uh, solution we have with a tiny one monitor. We're up. We're ready to go. So. That's it, Thomas Vanderkin talking about the P330 Tiny Today Workstation Class Machine in a uh, small package ready to uh, power your uh, graphics needs all through this one product. So have a great day everybody, we'll talk to you soon and uh, keep, uh, keep up on my uh, YouTube page and my LinkedIn page and everything going on at Lenovo. Thanks everybody, bye.